Hi, I'm Christina, and today I'm going to go through a home loan quick start demo that's going to get you started uh, with how to build a camel, JBoss Fuse camel application from scratch. And this is going to be um, part one of the six series, and I hope you enjoy it. So first of all, let's look at our demo. In this demo, I'm going to build a home loan integration system. So what? So first thing that within this integration system is that I'm going to read XMLs from um, a vendor. This vendor is going to provide me two kinds of data. The first one is, is going to be about customers and the second one is going to be about housing because this, is, this integration system is all about housing appraisal and how much values I'm going to get for my house. And because of some limitation, this vendor is got, this has decided to um, provide me with this data in the same in this, the same particular folder. So the first thing I need to do is I need to read in the XML file from the same folder, but I need to separate them into two different um, locations because they both need to be uh, processed separately and handled differently. So what I'm going to do in part one of the video is I'm going to show you how to create a project and how to read from a folder and how to separate um, my XML file and place them into a messaging queue with the EIPs that I'm using. And because of the current microservices trend, I have also decided to create my applications and deploy them into a distributed uh, containers and make sure that my applications, my services only does one thing and does it well. Okay, so let's get started and see how it's done. I'm going to start by creating a Fuse project inside JBoss Developer Studio. And um, here I'm going to name my project um, Data Receiver. So with Data Receiver, uh, I'm going to choose the right uh, Maven archetype for my project. So with the Maven archetype, it has all uh, pre-built um, folder structures. I don't have to worry about anything else and it's going to have some sample code inside my uh, project as well. So here I'm going to uh, create a, uh, a project with artifact ID, um, art, uh, home loan data receiver, and now the project is created. And here now I'm going to paste uh, my data folder, which is already pre-built uh, for, this, for this project. Within the data folder, it's going to have all the data which the uh, the vendor, well, the simulate vendor is going to give me. So it'll have the house and data information that it's going to uh, put in the folder that I'm going to receive. Okay, so now let's go to the uh, Maven route, uh, to the uh, camera route. So within this camera route, it has a pre built camera route that I don't want. So I'm going to remove this route and make it a clean canvas. Once I get the clean canvas, I can start create my own camera route. And so first of all, I'm going to add the uh, endpoint, the file endpoint, which I'm going to read the uh, file from. And then I'm going to uh, determine what sort of XML file it is giving me and set it to um, a different destination. So in, if you take a look at inside this endpoint uh, property, you will see that there are uh, numbers of available configurations for my uh, for this component. And it has a consumer configuration, a pr producer configuration. So depending on them, what kind, what what sort of endpoint it is. And here I have a consumer which consumes data from a folder. So I'm going to uh, name the folder and I'm going to delete the the files after reading it. So after I have re uh, set the uh, folder that I'm receiving the data from, I'm going to add the switch condition which is going to uh, determine where, which, which messaging queue I'm going to send my files to. And here I'm going to put in the condition. And because of my, uh, the format of the nature of my data, it is an XML file. And how do I determine um, if this XML file, wh where to put this XML file? And I'm so because it's XML, I'm going to use XPath uh, library to determine it. So with XPath, I can now start by uh, determining okay, if, if the first element is called customer uh, cust, cust info, and with attribute type uh, info type, 
and okay, so I'm gonna put input type in, and if the input type equals to uh, a to customer uh, to loan customer, then I'm going to send it into my customer queue. Okay, so don't forget to uh, put a at in front of the uh, attribute so it knows it's an attribute. Okay, good. So now I have my uh, when condition set. Now I want to have something that is similar to if else else. So if it, if it doesn't go to if it doesn't fit the first condition that I set with the customer info and the um, attribute with a uh, loan customer, then it is going to go through this route, which is very which is going to be the uh, the, the the house info. So which I'm I'm going to send it to the house uh, messaging queue. So before I uh, you, I, I I drag and drop my messaging queue endpoint, I'm going to set up my messaging queue. Uh, so I, ne I need to know where my broker is and the ID and password and security stuff. So here is how you set up um, a messaging queue, uh, a mess active in queue. And after that, I can, I can now start uh, drag and drop my messaging endpoint. So here it is. Okay, so now I have my customer in uh, data uh, customer file goes into my uh, uh, messaging queue, and my other housing information goes into another queue. So I need to name the the, the queue that I'm going to send it in. So for this one, this otherwise one, I'm going to set it to uh, house queue. So it's a house S H O U S. Yep, and then um, I'm going to set the other one as well. So this one goes to customer. Cool. So this is how you set uh read a uh, file in and um content switch my uh switch your data into different ca uh, camera routes. So there are more home loan uh, demo coming. I'll see you in the next video.